City Steel. I think this is nice. It's really clean. It's using a sans serif tie face, but then the eye has a slap serif component to it, mm -hmm. which helps to make it feel wider than everything. I mean, otherwise, because it would feel too skinny. I like that. It has an industrial quality to it, the, the way that the font is drawn. And then it has this letter C, which feels like it's kind of folding in space mm -hmm. and it's overlapped. So there's a little bit of dimensionality to it. I think I like the colors, the orange and the pale slate blue, desaturated slate blue. That works for me. I don't kind get of it. boring. Yeah, it's boring. You guys like like really decorative logos, right? The it doesn't best. have to be decorative. So, okay, look, look at this, guys. You see how they're really boring mm -hmm. using they're your similar. words? No, they're not, they're not boring. They're not? It's Helvetica, dude. I mean, they, look at they this. look cool to me. Look at this. These all seem cool to me. Okay, so you see, you can choose a nice typeface and use a lot of restraint and it would be beautiful mm -hmm. and just picking the right typeface. You see that logo? Yeah. yeah. That's a cool logo. You it think is. so? Yeah. What's cool about it? They just have a cool name. So no, 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 no. <laughs> you can't answer like what's cool about the logo and then tell me the name, Molly. Okay, this is Futura, black, I think. And there's just some slight modifications to it. And they're talking about how they modified the Bs to be at the same level at the cap height of the J. The bottom of the J has been modified, this bowl or the leg of the J. And these three things feels like a community. I like it because it's really simple. It will stand the test of time. If you look at the clothing that you wear, do you like to wear really loud, ostentatious clothing with floral prints? No, I agree with you there. You simple is good. It's timeless. I it, agree with you there. There's something that's really just beautiful about simple design. Braun, you know Braun, the company Braun? Ah. This company, Braun. You see this logo? You see how utilitarian yeah, that looks? That's cool. It looks mm -hmm. strong. Okay, you got that? Remember that. You see that logo? See how it looks strong? Okay, maybe that. Maybe I misspoke here. The letters part looks cool. City Steel. Mm -hmm. That's, I mean, it's simple. Hard mm -hmm. to go wrong there. But then the C above it, it's just a cool, solid logo, but it's not very eye-catching, memorable. It looks like, I'm sure there's millions of logos look just like this that are also just as cool. Yeah, I, I'm not sure that that's the criteria of whether a logo is good or not, that it feels like, oh, Futura, eh, too many people use it, or too much Helvetica. Dieter Rams is the legendary uh, lead behind the industrial design at Braun. And Dieter Rams and Apple and some of the world's most valuable brands, what they try to attain is a level of simplicity and restraint. You see the chairs that you sit in and like the one that Molly sit in, the Saarinen flower or tulip chair, the Saarinen table, these things have been around for like 50 years. Yeah, but those are today, uh, yeah, those are cool. You see what I'm saying? And and they're very simple. There's there's a level of restraint to it uh, that young people think, oh, it needs to be like funky. It needs to be lots of no. Fun hold on, I feel things. like no, I don't now think... I'm confused because are you saying I'm saying that or are you now speaking to the regular yeah, people? No longer I'm talking to me. It to you as because a... you're kind of putting words in my mouth there. I feel like <laughs> yeah, I should interrupt I'm you. I'm not saying either. any of that. <laughs> there's nothing wrong with this logo. I don't know what else to do. To there's it. nothing wrong with it. I agree with you. It's just not. <laughs> super interesting and amazing it's just a you know solid logo i agree with you it's solid it's not very, okay it's kind of okay. boring I, i'm not gonna put words into you but i'm gonna interpret what you're saying it's not super interesting or amazing what's the opposite of super interesting or amazing dull boring boring and uninteresting but a good logo can be boring everything that you just showed us online the reason why you don't, we don't find that boring is because we're seeing how it's applied right on the products and uh, uh, uh like my no, mind when you show me louis vuitton because i'm look, pulling up the cool stuff the no, no, tricks no, no. i the, just showed you Luxury fashion brands by themselves, no. Yeah, but I know, I know but we in the back of my mind. Yeah, head. I can see the, the see, Dior magazine uh, and the ladies. Okay. The battle that I have with young designers and the ones that you may be running into problems with as well is that I should be able to show a client their name, the company's name, set in a beautiful typeface, making some modifications to that just so it's a clean and really nice lockup. And the pushback that I'm going to get from them is, Chris, you haven't done anything. Oh, that, that typeface is played out. And this is a battle I'm going to have. And hopefully it's a battle that I keep winning. That is not about the, the latest, coolest thing. That it's amazing, interesting, and dynamic. And all those kinds of words you want to pick. Because those things get old really fast. And I, I don't want your company to pick something like that's like you're wearing flared bell bottoms. And you're going to wear pigtails. <laughs> and that's what you're going to live with. It doesn't look like it in the moment right now. But you're paying me because I'm gonna use good judgment and taste to give you something that's going to last, that's going to be beautiful. And I will show you applications of it and how it can live and breathe as a brand. But that's the mark. We're just commenting on the mark right now. Right, I think that oh, that's a good, really good point. And I, you just may realize that, that 
you showed all those fashion brands, Louis Vuitton, Dior, all that. Right. The very simple logo. If you just look at the letters, right, someone like me will say, oh, that's boring. You just type that out. But right. it's how you can use that. Like you can have, you know, those magazine full page ads with a that's like super well art directed photo. And then they throw on Dior. So then that's what I'm thinking about is the cool art directed photo and the whole brand. But, you know, you got to separate the two when we're just talking logos. So I get what you're saying. Your hat explains your point well. That's what <laughs> What's my hat saying? Type. 